One self-icing, a simple, separate person, yet utter the word democratic, the word en masse, of physiology from top to toe icing. Not physiognomy alone, not brain alone is worthy for the muse. I say the form complete is worthier far, the female equally with the male I sing. Of life immense in passion, pulse, and power, cheerful for freest action formed under the laws divine, the modern man I sing. For him I sing, I raise the present on the past, as some perennial tree out of its roots, the present on the past. With time and space I him dilate and fuse the immortal laws to make himself by them the law unto himself. Poets to come, orators, singers, musicians to come, not today is to justify me and answer what I am for, but you, a new breed, native, athletic, continental, greater than before known, arouse, for you must justify me. I myself but write one or two indicative words for the future. I but advance a moment only to wheel and hurry back in the darkness. I am a man who, sauntering along without fully stopping, turns a casual look upon you and then averts his face, leaving it to you to prove and define it, expecting the main things from you. I celebrate myself and sing myself, and what I assume you shall assume, for every atom belonging to me as good belongs to you. I loaf and invite my soul. I lean and loaf at my ease, observing a spear of summer grass, my tongue, every atom of my blood, formed from this soil, this air, born here of parents, born here from parents the same, and their parents the same. I, now thirty-seven years old, in perfect health begin, hoping to cease, not till death creeds and schools and abeyance, retiring back a while sufficed it what they are but never forgotten. I harbor for good or bad. I permit to speak at every hazard, nature without check, with original energy. Houses and rooms are full of perfumes. The shelves are crowded with perfumes. I breathe the fragrance myself and know it and like it. The distillation would intoxicate me also but I shall not let it. The atmosphere is not a perfume. It has no taste of the distillation. It is odorless. It is for my mouth forever. I am in love with it. I will go to the bank by the wood and become undisguised and naked. I am mad for it to be in contact with me, the smoke of my own breath. Echoes, ripples, buzzed whispers, love root, silk thread, crotch, and vine. My respiration and inspiration, the beating of my heart, the passing of blood and air through my lungs, the sniff of green leaves and dried leaves, and the shore, and the dark-colored sea rocks, and of hay and the barn, the sound of the belched words of my voice, loosed to the eddies of the wind, a few light kisses, a few embraces, a reaching around of arms, the play of shine and shade on the trees as the supple boughs wag, the delight alone or in the rush of streets or along the fields and hillsides, the feeling of health, the full moon trill, the song of me rising from bed and meeting the sun. Have you reckoned a thousand acres much? Have you reckoned the earth much? Have you practiced so long to learn to read? Have you felt so proud to get at the meaning of poems? Stop this day and night with me, and you shall possess the origin of all poems. You shall possess the good of the earth and sun. There are millions of suns left. You shall no longer take things at second or third hand, nor look through the eyes of the dead, nor feed on the specters in books. You shall not look through my eyes either, nor take things from me. You shall listen to all sides and filter them from yourself.